We all know Nancy O'Dell as a TV host, but her heart really belongs to books. She is out with a new book called Full of Love, in which she details her lifelong passion for scrapbooking with the help of well-known friends like Garth Brooks and Celine Dion. And Nancy is here with some thoughts on why family photo albums are so important. I couldn't agree more. Good morning. They really are. Good morning, Maggie. Is that why morning, you wrote Harry. the book? Hi. It is why I wrote the book. I mean, first of all, I am a scrapbooking and album-making fiend. I think I have like 100 scrapbooks at home, and I've been doing it for four generations of my family. Family, you know, my grandmother did, my great grandfather did, and one things that I wanted to do because I think everybody out there takes, I mean, everybody takes pictures. There's mm -hmm. no question, and then they get so mad at themselves when they wind up just sitting there on the computer, mm -hmm. you know, on the digital, and you never take them down and print them, and then you've got the box in the garage that just sits there and you never scrapbook them. So I wanted to make it really easy for everybody and make it simple and show everybody scrapbooking is not, you know, that word that where you have to use the glue and the glitter. It's like really easy and it's so very, very important for your family and for your kids. No one thinks they have time. Erica and I were just talking. Who, who has time, Nancy? I know. Well, it doesn't take that much time. It's not what it used to be, and that's one thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to make it very easy and simple. And, you know, I really learned the magic of scrapping at a really early age because in the albums, because I remember this story where we had, um, and I tell this in the book, there was a cat that I had, and we discovered that my sister was allergic to the cat. And so I said to my mother, you know, what do you mean we have to give the cat away? I said, can we give my sister away instead? <laughs> And so what does she do? She goes, time to bring out the albums. And she brought it out, and she showed me all these pictures of me and my sister, Aww. and where my sister, I, you know, was three, she's three years older, and I was a little baby, and how many years we had together, and the bond that we had as sisters, and talked to me about how important that bond would be through my life. And I realized at a very young age that, okay, I can do away with the cat, and I'm going to keep my sister. And to this day, I'm still very happy Aww. that I kept my sister and love her <laughs> And that's something she remembered her whole life. And in fact, you I talked do. to a psychologist for the book who says that scrapbooks have that kind of impact on all children. He does. In fact, he uses the statement that there are few tools that are more powerful than the family album and scrapbooking and making your child feel confident, belonging to a unit like a family, and feeling self-assured, which I think is so very important, especially with all the topics in the news these days about bullying. Yeah. And because what it does is when you put a picture of your child in the album, it mm. says, you are important to me. You matter. You belong to this group. And you show them a picture of them with their friends, and you're saying, you have friends. So when they feel this peer pressure or they feel like, you know, somebody is bullying me, that they can go back to those pictures that are so embedded in their mind of, wait a minute, I've got my family, I've got a unit here, I can stand strong. And so he will tell you it's very, very important and I get so many memories that I have from just looking at those pictures. And I got all my mom's scrapbooks after she passed away. My dad sent them to me. And this is wow. the only way that I have. My baby girl was born the same year that my mom passed away, almost mm -hmm. a year to the date. And so that's the only way that I have her to connect to my mom, and that's, that's how she knows Grandma Betty, way. you know. That you inspired me. We're looking at her mom's scrapbook here. Yeah. That's what I made Memories digitally. Memories from my mom, and she made it digital. And you can you imagine your little girl getting to know her grandma in this special way. Well, this it's is unbelievable. what th that I'm wanting her to do. And also, one of the things that I really have been encouraging what we started is an Album of Hope initiative. And what we're wanting is that I encourage every single parent, because I'm telling you, you cannot give your child a bigger gift than to give them an Album of Hope. And I made one for Ashby. This is one of those, two. This has some of the things in it, too. But the end here. Ashby, your three-year-old. Ashby, my three-year-old. And it says, all your hopes and dreams for them. And this one says, I hope that you will know and feel that you can always count on your mother and father to be there for you, always. Wow. Mm. It's beautiful. And so Thanks. she'll have this that she can keep you know, all of her life, and I tell her, you know, I hope that you'll enjoy sports and participate in them and have a healthy life, and you can put pictures in there, like if you want to teach them about the environment. That's a great idea. you can take them out and plant a tree with them, take pictures, you have those memories. And so this Album of Hope initiative, also the, um, so important that the Florida Department of Citrus had joined in on that. So if you go to the Florida Orange Juice Facebook page, then mm -hmm. you'll see how crazy the mornings can be and how you want to make them memorable, your times with your kids. You'll Thank see you more about that. And she made a scrapbook for us that we're going to take a look at in a little while, so stay with us, everybody, and thank you, Nancy. Oh, my gosh, I had so much fun doing that. It was so easy. All right. <laughs> about 10 minutes for you guys. Well, we'll dig in now.